You've all heard about it and you've seen it. I have ordered my Cybertruck and uh, I need to make room for it by selling my Model Y. It was a tough decision, but if I'm going to do it, I'm going to get the most amount of money for it. And uh, if you're ready to sell your Tesla, I'm going to show you how to do it too. Welcome to the Cobra Pit, whether you're a longtime viewer or a newer subscriber. I appreciate every single one of you. You could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. So as I get ready for my Cybertruck delivery, I got to sell my Model Y. I've been waiting over four years for the vehicle that got me more excited than any other vehicle in history. The one vehicle that put Tesla on my radar, that Cybertruck. So I've been ready for it, but I did not expect a delivery so soon. I placed my order last month and it can come any day now. I'm still waiting for that VIN number and I'm ready to pull the trigger. The only problem is either my Tesla Model X or Y has to go. I love both of those cars, so it was a really tough decision. I just got the 2023 Model Y at the end of September, so it has all the latest technology versus my legacy Model X. But my Model X is a seven seater with unlimited supercharging. So I made a whole video comparing the two. So uh, check that out if you're interested. So we've decided to sell the new Model Y. There's lots of things that I've done to it to keep it in pristine condition. So if this day ever were to come, I'd be prepared. Or if I did want to keep it, I mean, it's still looking immaculate. So the first thing that I do, and I recommend this to all EV owners, not just because it's free, because it's about the health of your battery, the most important and expensive part of your car. Sign up for recurrent. An EV has a significantly lower number of moving parts than a regular gas engine car does. But the most important and expensive part is the battery. So keep it healthy. You'll have a better idea about your actual real world battery range and how that can change in different conditions like in summer and winter and how to charge it. And more importantly, what your range would be like in three to five years from now. But if you end up selling your EV, you should know how healthy your battery is and so should the buyer, right? Recurrent has been monitoring my battery over the past few months and this private data will end up helping me get more money for my Model Y, just like it helped me sell my Model 3 for thousands more than other places offered me. And the best part, it was easy too. But even if you don't plan on selling, you'll know how healthy your battery is and how to keep it that way. The link is in the description. It's free. The next thing is keeping the car in as close to perfect condition as I can. And while doing that, saving as much money as I can. Look at any Tesla and then look down at the rims. Tell me what you notice about them, huh? Tell me what you notice about most of them. Say what you want about how badly we drive or blame the way the wheel pokes out beyond the tire. But whatever the case is, curb rash is an issue and it can be expensive to repair. Now I said repair, not just paint over it. You can buy some over the rim protectors that you know, aren't very appealing or you can get the rim case by Magback. Yeah, they, they, they're right there. Well, you don't see them? No? Oh yeah, because that's the point, right? They fit seamlessly on the rim and protect you from scrapes. Not only that, if you already have scratches on your rim, these will cover them up, right? So this was one of the first accessories that I added to my car and I haven't had one pop off yet. They've also held up well with weathering and car washes and things of that nature. But the best part, installation is easy. First, clean the wheel. Then you apply this protective film, right? This will keep your rims in good condition underneath. Then you just pop one on at a time in a clockwise pattern, applying a little pressure here and there, right? No big deal. And then that last piece, right? The last piece, you just snap it in, right? They give you a little tool that'll help you with that last piece. And then you're done. That's it, it's a wrap. I did do a curb test to see how they fared and bam, look at that. That's, that would be nasty normally, right? If you hit something like that, your rim would be total. But once I popped it off, my rim was flawless, right? Flawless underneath. And, and it was easy just to replace the damaged pieces by put, popping on a new one. This is the best way to keep those rims looking perfect. So even after telling people that they're on there, 
They still can't believe it, right? It's that seamless. My buddy wanted a pair so badly, so he picked him up a pair as well. Usually when you hear, oh, I'm going to get something on top of my rim, you might be thinking, oh, you know, I don't want it to look ugly. But if you do want to spice it up a little bit, they do have a different color option for you. So, I don't know, you might like that little bit of flair. But go ahead and check it out. Hey, links to everything is in the description. But then if you look inside the car, there's so many things in here that could get damaged, right? But if you look closer, even closer, you will see that I have everything protected, right? So the people over at Test Plus, they have full interior coverage to keep your car clean from spills, kicks, all those types of things, right? So starting with these mats, these all-weather mats look just like Tesla's, right? They have the strips, the lines going through, that makes it easy to clean. And they go side to side so nothing can spill, right, outside of these. My son um, had an accident in here, and it was easy to clean it up. Um, I told him direct his accident right towards uh, the mat, <laughs> and he did that, right? And it came out, and it came out, and it came out. Sorry if this is disturbing. You know, he had some bad food. And all I did was take the mat out, wash it, clean it, good to go. But the best part, again, what did I tell you? We were about saving money. So you could spend X amount of money on Tesla's all-weather mats or at a fraction of that price, hit up Test Plus. I mean, I have the factory ones in the Model X, and they look almost exactly the same. I, If you didn't tell me these came from a, a third party, I wouldn't have believed you. But they didn't stop with just the floor mats. Look closer. Look closer. Right? Look at all these trim pieces right here. These are all covers to protect the, the, the base of your car from kicks, from scuffs, from spills and, you know, bodily fluids. Right? And it protects it completely. So all you have to do is pop these off when you're ready to sell this car or if you want to replace them. Right? So they go on. They snap on pretty easily. There are some that you can find out there that, you know, you... That are a little more difficult to snap into place. But these, these are simple. I had no trouble at all with these. You slip them on. They're pretty straightforward. And you'll be done with this in five minutes. And, once again, for the low, low price. You might be thinking, but I use my car for a lot of different things. Which I do too. Just this last Costco haul had the back of my car filled up. And don't forget, I have basketball, I have football, right? So I have all these different things all in the trunk of my car. That's why Test Plus has this nice cargo cover, right? It protects the lining of your car, the trunk, and even down below, right, for the sub trunk. So protection is big for me. I love keeping my car looking as nice as I can, and that's all parts of it. So when I'm ready to sell this, I will remove all of these pieces, and the car's going to look brand new once again. They even have a piece that goes inside of the frunk, right? So this is, this is full, complete coverage. And um, Test Plus, once again, check out the link in the description. So another reason this car was hard for me to get rid of was because I finally got my white seats. I wanted these white seats. These white seats were my dream, but everybody knows you can see dirt more easily. That's why I wanted to apply this ceramic coating on it, right, to protect it. So it was super easy to apply. Make sure the, the seats are clean. You don't want to lock any dirt in, right? Make sure they're clean. You just apply it to the provide a sponge and just wipe it all over one coat. I think I did two coats. You just make sure and you'll see it, right? Any excess liquid, you could just wipe up with a rag. But since applying this, when I do get spills, I mean, I don't have anything to compare it to because, you know, I applied this when I first got the car. But any spills that I've had easily wipes up. When a mosquito bit my arm and I smacked it and there's blood everywhere, easily wiped up right and i recommend this for everyone they say it's a yearly cycle so every year you want to apply more um fifty dollars i mean to keep your car seats clean i mean i don't know it's up to you but i highly highly recommend this now you might be thinking to yourself oh he skipped the wrap for a reason 
because wraps are expensive. I know what you're thinking. And you would be right overall, right? Overall, generally speaking, wraps are expensive. But if you want to do it yourself, you can save a ton of money, right? A ton of money. And I don't know. It's a very uh, <laughs> detail-oriented job. It's not easy to do, but if you have the time and some patience, you can knock it out too. So there's so many different places where you can find these materials. The PPF is a paint protection field. And if you and if you don't have it on your car, you will get swirls, right? You will get dings like I have on my Model X. And no, it's not the end of the world, but imagine when you pull up and you after you remove it, your car looks brand new like it's off the lot, right? So yeah, you could pay eight to ten thousand to get it professionally done, or you could save a ton of money, buy it, and you know, spend about nineteen. 20 hours doing it yourself, bonding with your car, you and your significant other or you and your homies, you know, get get some drinks and just hang out and do it yourself and live, love, laugh and all that and, and cry. But it's doable, right? It's not perfect. It's not perfect. But unless you really know what to look for and you dig deep and try to find some errors, you can do that. But, you know, for the rest of the week after I applied it, I was still popping holes here and there. But now, oh, I love it. So it can save you big time. Matter of fact, I was at the store today and uh, I walked up to my car. This car was parked all crazily and I'm like, okay, what's going on here, right? So I hop in, check the dash cam footage and what do you see? This person's struggling. He's struggling, right? He's struggling. He or she is struggling. And then the person in the back seat pops out, bam! So I'm like, ah. Oh. I know it wasn't intentional. My wife's trying to calm me down. I said, I know I'm not angry, right? I'm not angry. So I go and take a look and um, I didn't see any damage at all, right? Paint protection film. Highly recommend it. So if you're interested in PPF DIY that you keep on for the long term, and it's also great because if you do plan on selling a car, then you didn't spend as much money protecting it if you do it, did it yourself. So um, the link is in the description. Every car moving forward, I don't care what kind of car it is, it's going to get PPF. Cybertruck? Oh, I, I, I don't know yet. I want to, but I don't know. I kind of like that one looking kind of jacked up. You know what I'm saying? I kind of like it. I don't know yet. So so forget what I said about every car. But the Cybertruck ain't a car. It's a truck. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to figure that out. If you want to keep your car looking good, regardless if you're going to keep it or sell it, you know, these are the best ways, in my opinion. My car, if I was ready to sell it tomorrow, just remove a few things. Remove, I could remove all the trim pieces, remove the wrap, which is a lot faster than applying it. And then my car is going to look brand new like the way I drove it off the lot. Hey, thanks for watching. And <laughs> tell me what you think. Should I wrap that cyber truck? Should I not? You know, let me know your thoughts. I know it's fingerprinty and all that, but that's what these people on YouTube say. You know, I need to, I need to know for myself. My wife is like, yeah, fingerprints. But anyway, let me know how you feel. Thanks for watching, and don't forget, Cobra told you. All right, y'all.